morning, it's 5.50, uh, we're teeing off at 7 to finish two holes and then uh, teeing off for the second round. So, seems to be no wind this morning, which is great, so hopefully we have a calm day. Uh, most likely going to be windy in the afternoon, but uh, time to make some birdies for sure. And now, Parker is all set, he's in the hotel room, so <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, we can focus on golf. Let's do it. Bringing up the brand new Misuna Energy Energy. How do you even say that? Energy. 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 <laughs> They're pretty cool. They Plain match the hat. Yeah. That is pretty sick. Finish the first round. Fred birdied the last hole. It's a nice little way to end it. Now oh shit! A round. Long, <laughs> long round. Oh my it gosh, that 19, was brutal. Nineteen hours. But at least we birdied last, so we got a little bit of motivation for. The second seven hour round that we're gonna play today, probably. Yeah, so Fred has like almost an hour before his next round, so we're just hanging out, waiting to go off. right now so I think we're we're more than good for to for the cut line but do you know what the cut line what how many people make the cut I mean that there are 100 pros say it's 33 percent so yeah. top 30 and I'm 20 and it's very windy outside so we'll see it's usually like around 33 to 36 percent plus ties right yes yeah. that's the standard yeah but what about this guy yeah is he doing pretty good He's not worried about the cut line, I tell you that. This is a way bigger bed than you're used to, huh? <laughs> so, we didn't want to just hang around and sit in the hotel room and Look at we... it! Check the camera! A little B-roll of that bad boy? That's what we're gonna do. I was saying. <laughs> we are going to play a little nine-hole course. I drove past it the other day and I noticed it and then, of course, Fred wanted to go. So, it's a little 
little executive course and somehow the greens look like, a, like amazing. And it's supposed to be super difficult too, so. He didn't tell me that part. Absolutely, so I'll do this 30. Please hold on. Okay, have to let us uh, get through. You might need to go tap on the window or something. Yeah. Let's see. There it is. Hey. <laughs> it's like a magnet. We're in. How about this hole right here? <laughs> this might be one of the signature holes. It's a Bowl, if you're a little bit long, that ball is gone. What's the bush now say? 114 meters. 114 meters. Oh, the wind almost pushed it down. Sit. Oh, sit. Oh, it's still there. It's still there. <laughs> the hardest hole in Parker is not at Emeralds Canyon, it's right here. <laughs> Oh no. She gone. <laughs> You're off worse than me. It's all on the course here. No, that could come back. Oh, you got lucky. Nice. Like you guys can probably tell by now, the wind has really picked up this afternoon, which is good news for me and the cut line. So I think we should be all good for tomorrow because I bet the course must be playing super difficult now with this type of wind and those small fairways. So my got a little lucky with the draw this week. This is hole number five, all the way down to there. Got the big Colorado River in the background. And then we're going from down there up to this, hole number six. You ready? No. <laughs> So the toughest part three out of any part three course. That green is legit like five paces wide and deep. So and we're hitting over this storage unit. Not to mention past it is the road. It's the road. And it's 130 meters, so 143 yards into a crosswind that's hurting it a touch. So both of us made it on the green somehow from all the way back there. <laughs> Look how cool this hole is. All right, Hannah. Make it. That'll be a good two today. Ooh, a little slow. walked it. Nice. Good par. Good save. Good par. Alright, so that was the part three course at Lake Hawasu Spring Resort. Pretty incredible. I mean, look at the quality of the greens. You can barely find that at regular golf courses. Uh, really good test. Super difficult, but a lot of fun. So in the end, I actually made the cut by three. So. We didn't really have to be worried there, but the wind really picked up. The golf course played a lot tougher in the afternoon. So I got a good draw and uh, we're heading to bed now to try to get ready for a low on tomorrow. Let's do it.
Okay, they said he can hang out in the office at the golf course, so we're just setting him up an hour before <laughs> our warm-up. What, what are the players going to think about me, man? They're going to be like, that guy, that guy travels with his cat. cat <laughs> Poor girl. Hey, cutie. We gotta go, okay? We'll see you later. If you don't have a massage gun, get one for sure. Life saving. Chris is giving me some pointers before the round. That's how good I'm hitting it. Chocolate! So we just finished up, we shot even. What do you think? Honest answer, I know you always want to be positive, but I don't think I've ever hit my irons worse than I did today. What do you think? Like, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it was, I had no idea where it was going. Literally, absolutely clueless. We it were was, working a two-way miss. For a while. Yeah, it was like snap hook or I mean such a push ride is shocking. Uh, luckily, the putter and the wedge still went straight, so I was able to post a score, the best score of the week for me. But uh, yeah, it was it was ugly out there. That's you can say that at least. We had our worst box ball striking day for sure today, and we shot our best score. So Fred was scrambling very, very well. I mean, you're not gonna have good weeks every week. At least this week, my bad week, I still made some money, which is great. It's not gonna be anything really to bring home, but uh, hopefully, you covered most of the expenses, and uh, you take whatever good out of this. Chipping and putting was good, and then you try to figure out what the heck is going on with the rest of the game. And we got a free cat. Yeah, we got Parker. He's back there chilling. So he buried himself down underneath for a nap. Very tired. So cute. All right, we just got back to the apartment here in Phoenix. In the end, I finished 26th. 
I'm gonna get a check for around 600 bucks, which will pretty much just cover the expenses for this week. Um, the good news is that Parker is here with us. He's laying over there feeling a lot better. And thank you to everyone who donated for uh, to him as a GoFundMe so we could get him the help he needed without getting financially ruined because it was almost $2,000 in the end. So thank you very much. And make sure to subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. We're gonna post a bunch of more videos coming up here and give you guys more insights into professional golf and a bunch of other cool stuff. So thank you for watching.